Hello everyone, my name is Angel Santos and I am here live at one of my favorite restaurants. Are we calling it a restaurant or a cafe? What is, I'm not sure if it's considered a restaurant or a cafe. I just know I really like it. It's gorgeous, it overlooks the water, um, and the food is really good and it's healthy. So you have enough energy after you eat to work, which is what I like to come here to do. If I'm recording this live and I haven't recorded it live inside before. So if you cannot hear me, no worries. I will record it live, um, you know, outside or in a quieter place if it's too noisy in the background. I'm hoping my headset will, um, will cover the sound issues because it is music playing, playing in the background. Hello, hello. Can you hear me okay? I just want to make sure the music isn't over... Uh, overcrowding my voice or um, drowning out my voice. So I wanted to share three ways to never hear I can't afford it again when you are selling your product to someone, your program, your service. Um, I know, especially for new entrepreneurs, things that we do not want to hear, I can't afford it, um, can I have a discount, um, I, I, I can do it Friday, uh, something else is cheaper, like all of these different objections or excuses, uh, because a lot of times it's really just an excuse and it, it'll sound like an objection, but I know um, that's one thing that new entrepreneurs dread to hear is I can't afford it, and a lot of times you don't know what to say, so you just kind of, you buy it, basically you believe them and you move on to the next person when if they thought enough to come to you to talk to you about your product, your service, that means that was a chance for you to help them, right? To solve a problem that they apparently have if they came up to you or if they showed interest. And when you let them get away with just saying, I can't afford it, that was a missed opportunity for you to help another person, uh, which I feel like, I mean, a lot of what life is about is helping other people, right? So I want to give you three ways to never hear that again, okay? And when I look down, I just have my notes, so <laughs> sneak peek at the, at the tips. So tip one, in order to stop hearing, I can't afford that, cost too much, price is too high, maybe next week, um, you need to be clear on what makes you different. You need to clearly, so clearly, as easy as you can say your name, you know, your first, middle, and last name, with that level of confidence, with that level of ease, with the same confidence, with the same clarity, with the same speed, you need to be clear on what makes your product, what makes your service different? Because if you aren't clear on it, if you're not confident on it, then you can't effectively communicate it to your potential clients. So they're telling you it's about the price, but real, really what it really is, or one of the things it could be, is that you haven't effectively communicated why they should choose your product. Why should they choose your service? Because here's the thing, if they show some interest in you and your product service, chances are very high that they have bought something similar at a similar price range. And if they don't buy from you, they will buy from someone else. And a lot of times the person that they do buy from is higher than you, not cheaper, higher. What the person did that you didn't do was successfully communicate what makes them different, what makes them valuable, right? Um, I will give you two examples. For a product-based business, or if you offer things that people can tangibly, uh, tangibly touch, I will give you the example that I use when I speak, an iPhone. So most of you who will watch this video have an iPhone or a Galaxy 7, 8, 9, right? But about 40 to 60% of you at least will have an iPhone. An iPhone, just like this one, is not the cheapest cell phone there is. There are so many cheaper. I give this example often. Um, if you go into a Family Dollar, a Walmart, 
you can find even a Kroger <laughs> you can find a cell phone on sale for like you know 20 or 30 dollars yet nobody oh I still want my glass thank you thank you <laughs> um, so they were seeing if I was still using my glass and you can see the my food on Instagram at Christian Sheep New Academy if you want to see what I ate today at the Dunlavy. So an iPhone is clearly not the cheapest phone there is. It costs between four to twelve hundred dollars, right? But that doesn't stop us from buying it. Why? Because Apple has clearly communicated the value. It's more than just a phone. It's a phone. It's a calendar. It's a camera. It's a calculator. It's a computer. It's a remote control if you have Fire TV. Uh, it's entertainment for yourself and your kids. It's a reading device. Like it's so much more than just a phone, and it's easy to use. It's easy. The iPhone specifically, they they made it with the one button to make it easier to use than any other smartphone out there. So why did we gladly play? Uh, play. <laughs> why did most of us gladly pay? the 400 to 1200 dollar price point because apple clearly communicated their value they clearly communicated what made them different and they were able to communicate it because they were clear on it first so number two once you are clear on what makes your uh product or service different oh and by the way so I gave an example of a product, but let's say your your uh, what you offer, what you sell is a service. I will use me for an example. I am a business coach, right? So instead of a lot of times selling something um, tangible, uh, I will sell something intangible like coaching, like marketing workshops, uh, like retreats. You can attend it, you can go to it, but you learn and take action. It's not something you can necessarily touch all the time. Um, I am clear though on what makes me different from other coaches right whereas some coaches you will get into their program you will never have any one-on-one -on -one time with them you can maybe email them maybe you get one call um, you leave with a lot of questions more questions than answers all of my programs come with a lot of one-on-one -on -one time because I know that's what you need when you are learning about starting and growing a business you need your questions answered you don't need to wait months to get your questions answered you don't need to wait three months to figure out how to create an opt-in or send an email or you know get feedback on if your copy for your uh, webinars page is good you know what I mean like you need help right then you need answers you need direction and you need someone who actually cares <laughs> and sees you as more than just a number that once they get the money from you that's all they really care about if I'm being honest right so that's what um, that's what makes me different and I'm really clear on that very very clear after working with some of the best coaches in the industry as like I was their client and working with some of the worst coaches in the business coaching industry I am so super clear on what makes me different so that's an example basically of what makes you different uh, with a product and as a service so way number two once you are clear on what makes you different over communicate over communicate say it with me over communicate once you are clear on what makes your product your program your service different you need to over communicate that to your potential clients your target market everybody you can <laughs> everybody let the world know what you do what you offer and why yours is different why yours is the one they need here is why a lot of entrepreneurs new entrepreneurs fail not because they don't have enough time not because they don't have enough money and definitely not because they don't have a good product because what I know about most of the women in my community is you are really great at what you do whether you are getting paid for it or not you are really good at what you do you know whether it's um, 
doing hair, helping people plan events, um, helping people with their finances, um, representing brands, like whatever it is, you, you know so much about what you do, um, where you um, fail, for lack of a better word, is at over communicating what you do and what the value of that is. Think about Apple, think about Coca-Cola, think about um, what's, what's another brand? Uh, think about Nike, think about some of the biggest brands out there. They already have a substantial customer base, but yet and still, you still see their advertisements because they are, um, just one moment. Okay, where was I? So over communicate, over communicate, over communicate. And um, this is not in the tips. Oh, did I delete it? Okay, hold on. So four quick ways to help you if you're like, well, how do I over communicate? I won't get into detail on like what you should post and how you should write and what the script is, you know, to be most effective. But I will tell you that four ways um, that I would highly recommend you uh, doing if you are not to over communicate your value of your product, program, or services is to email, use social media, direct mail, which is actually, you know, a letter, envelope, or a postcard and mailing it. Yes, direct mail still works because a lot of people have cut back with direct mail because they feel like it's, you know, the old way. Therefore, uh, it leaves prime time for small, uh, on, small businesses and entrepreneurs to utilize it. It's very effective and think about it. Don't you enjoy when you get something in the mail that's not a bill? <laughs> Your mail is closer to like receiving an Amazon package. And calling, never forget that one of the first, one of the most tried and true and effective ways of communicating the value of your product is calling someone. It's just, it's just calling someone. Um, if you're like most entrepreneurs, you may not enjoy calling, but I am telling you, if you want quick, thank you. Oh, hi, Candice, how are you? Thanks for the uh, like. If you like or want quick results, getting on what they call the 10,000 pound phone is the way to go. And then the last tip is, so the last tip for um, making sure that you don't ever hear, I can't afford it, or uh, maybe next week, or you know, this and that. The last tip is don't make the conversation about price, right? So just a quick recap. Um, the first tip was to be clear on what makes you different so you can effectively communicate it to others. You know your value. You know everything about what makes your product and service the best, most unique, most effective, but we don't. And just having it on your website or one social media post is not enough. So you need to be clear, tip one. Tip two, you need to over communicate that because one email, one live, <laughs> one post is not enough. So be clear on how you're different. Tip two, just to recap, was to over communicate it. And tip three, don't make the conversation about price. So here's the thing. Apple does not say, hey, get your new iPhone. It's the most affordable out there. <laughs> Why do they not say that? They, uh, they don't say that, one, because it's not true, and two, because they understand that spending the time effectively communicating the value of their product versus the price will draw you quicker than making it about price when if they made it about price, they would have to say, hey, our name is Apple and we're one of the most expensive products you can buy. Are you in? <laughs> You're not going to ever hear that. Although at this point you probably could and I feel like they've created such a, a brand loyalty that we may still buy it. Um, but they make the conversation about value. I was at a networking event the other day and someone said, you know, I like my product because it's very affordable. Here's the thing, it sounds good. You think it sounds good, but when you say affordable, that instantly makes me think about price. And then when she said the price of her product, I thought, I know where I can get that cheaper, Amazon. 
Old Navy, <laughs> like when you make the conversation about price, people are going to look and compare prices. If you make the conversation about price, that's what the conversation is going to be about. Sometimes we can, we can actually cause the conversation to be about price when we try to say, oh yeah, we're, we're one of the most affordable out there, then you're causing them to compare. But if you make the conversation about what you bring to the table, what results they can expect, what problem your product solves, then that's what they will focus on. So that's what you have to do. You have to change and control the conversation. Focus on your value, focus on your benefits, focus on your features, and most importantly, focus on a problem you are solving for that person. Take pricing out of the issue. And if you say, well, they the first thing they said was, what's the price? And you can say, you can use my script if you want, you can say, well, it's kind of like my product is kind of like Apple, you know, uh, there are a lot of cheaper phones out there, but it's not about the price. It's about the value, the joy, um, the convenience that it brings. You know what I mean? And they, they would have to agree with you because I am telling you the people that you are selling to are not using a Nokia 8720 from Walmart. <laughs> Remember Nokia's? <laughs> they are not using Nokia's. They are using Galaxies and, and, and iPhones. So that's it. Those are the three quick tips I wanted to uh, share. Be clear on what makes you different. Over communicate it. And don't make the conversation about price. Now, that's all I can share today. And of course, like always, if you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments. Thank you all so much for watching. And if you know someone who you think could benefit from this video, I would love if you would share this with them. Thank you all so much for watching. <laughs> Bye.